Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, once again, it's showtime. Hi guys. I'm back, as threatened. Um, I'm sorry, as promised. Globo. Spent an hour today getting his uh, legendary items updated. Having hit level 141 yesterday. He can upgrade all of his legendary gear, and I did. His offensive stuff almost all got teal quality upgrades. The stuff in the offhand, the book got purple quality upgrades. Not Knox. Good evening. Welcome back. I hope you're well. All things considered. I am doing, well, new-ish content, I suppose. Not really new, new content, but new-ish. As this is content that was added, I believe, before the expansion. So there's a bunch of stuff... I have to do, or I can do, or I think I have to do, before I actually get to go to Umbar. Uh, what do I have to do right there? Where am I? I am there, okay. First time in your life that you did get a hold of a root beer. Okay, well... I'm not glad about the worst time of the life bit. That's kind of not making me happy. I hope it is uh, getting better. Would you do hey, fat buddy. For me? Good evening. Happy Saturday. Defeat Corsars and defeat Saduk. A and W was sold out. You will have a good. Um, representation, I expect. My second suggestion would have been um, Mug Root Beer. But A&W, I think, is the... Uh, is certainly my choice. Derby Day? Which Derby? Is it really Kentucky Derby Day? I have heard literally not a single thing in any sports webpage or television show that I have watched. Wait, didn't we need to go... Yeah, we need to go south. First Saturday in May. Well, that is today. I, I have to grant you that, but literally, I haven't heard boo. Why, that's a Corsair Sniper. So I think he... ...can die pretty quick. Well, I have to say, so far it feels like I'm doing buttloads more damage, but it didn't look like anything particularly had any huge number changes when I got the new legendary stuff. You know, changes like from 45% extra damage to 50% extra damage usually don't make things die a whole lot faster. Oh, another Corsair. <laughs> So far, everything's dying in an extremely satisfactory fashion. We'll see if that continues. Wow, that was some really awful lag. It lagged so bad I thought I had clicked off of the application. <coughs> I gotta say, so far, things are dying really fast. 
much faster than they were yesterday. Now, I expected faster, but not this much faster. Adirondack. I've uh, been saving it for nearly two weeks to drink it whilst watching the stream. That's inspired. Uh, I have not had Adirondack root beer. I have no idea as to how delightful it may be. I hope the experience lives up to uh, my sort of talking it up extensively. Corsairs, multiple Corsairs. Damage numbers are way up. Hmm. It may not be the additional goodies that I buffed it up with. It may just be the base value of the legendary weapons are that much better. As opposed to sort of the updates. Uh, legendary weapons, if you're not familiar with it, they have... They have lots of stats. They have that many stats. And all of those little icons you see along the left-hand side, all of those got upgraded, but most of the upgrades were relatively small. So I'm assuming it's the overall weapon damage itself from going from like 450 to 515 item level is what is making things explode in a most delightful and satisfactory fashion. Tastes like a smooth variant of chewing gum called Jenka that you have over there. That's an interesting one. Now I want to look up Jenka. So I will. Yeah, Jenka bubblegum. Also a spa. Also in the cave story wiki. Also there's a software company. Uh, if the legendary weapons were like that, fat body, the legendary items, it's way better than it used to be. It used to be you'd have like six affixes, and they were random. So these are a lot more complicated, but they're tunable. You get to choose all of those things, and those are all buffing offensive skills and general offense. And the individual tunability of it is a significant improvement. Wait, that's all we want. So we want the mystery supplier. Did not taste like a software company. Well, you don't know that for sure. There might be a software company out there that tastes exactly like a root beer float. Not sure how that would work, but... I'm, I'm going to stick with it. Is that another player? That's another player. Out here in the middle of nowhere. Parnon. This must be the guy I'm supposed to talk to. A Haradra man calmly holds up his empty hand. Please put down your weapons, Minstrel. I mean you no harm. My fellow soldiers fled long ago. I'll return home eventually, but not before I see some of the harm undone. What would you require of me? Hunt boars for fresh meat. Okay. Boars. I'm a boar... I have started the deed Boar Slayer of Upper Lebanon. Wow. Are there b more Boar Slayer deeds all over the place? 
Ah, this is the Boar Wallow. Appropriately named, I have to say. I didn't get meat from the other one. Apparently not all boars have meat. Taste is good. It's filled with subpar ingredients that your body does not drive with. Feeling... Ooh, sorry, that's not good. Scavenging crow, wild boar. Slightly sick. Yeah, that's not good at all. So this is what the other player was doing here. Presumably they were hunting boars as well. Yeah, um, this is way easier than it was yesterday, killing things. Holy crap. Thank you, Kanaka. Hope you're doing okay tonight. And is everything way easier to kill than it was before Helm's Deep? Not yesterday. Yesterday things were tough. I was fighting 140 stuff with uh, a 140... Is that all of them I need? I need one more. Um, with basically a 140 legendary, and I hit 141, and... Upgraded my uh, legendaries to 141, and everything just got, has gotten much easier. Yesterday, things were quite challenging. What would you require of me? Talk to Iridan in Halak. I will talk to him in Halak, I guess. I have to get to ride back there at some point. Oh, well, let's do west. West by southwest, anyway. That was all the time you could allot. Have a nice stream. Hey, thank you for dropping by to share that with me, even if the experiment was not what we would call successful, Mad Knox. Um, take it easy. Feel better. And I hope things go a, a bit, a bit weller for you, shall we say. Hypothetical time. If the word optional actually appeared anywhere near the PSN account requirement, as I've heard it did in the past, could Helldiver, Helldivers to have a bait and switch violation? Uh, that was all. That would be entirely dependent on the nation of the person who bought the game. It evidently did definitely have, briefly at least, that it was an optional PSN account for Helldivers. Days of peace have come at last My understanding is that Steam is honoring refund requests. We don't need to track the deadly Avonk. Those Corsairs I was defeating eh, were not in the right area, so I don't get credit for them. Mm -hmm. Well, let's head to Glyath. Anyway. Certainly on Sony's part, uh, it's another fine example of shooting yourself in both feet. You have an immensely popular product. A surprisingly, even shockingly popular product. And you piss away all the goodwill that you have built up in a month with a stupid requirement.
Nope. Don't have a quest for him. Not in the right area. But today, not many of the critters that I'm attacking are reaching me. Yesterday, they were pretty much all reaching me and getting a couple of whacks in. I can only remember one of the time they waived the played time qualification. I can't remember what the game was. I don't remember. It's happened at least once before. I'm pretty sure it may have happened more than that. There have been a few extreme cases where they weren't. Uh, they certainly weren't enforcing the, a strict two hour. How went your visit to Halak? I get even more gear upgrade. A mantle of Gondor's vanguard. Almost doubling my armor. A little bit of extra will. Almost doubling my vit. More than doubling, or almost, I guess almost doubling physical mastery, and then giving me a bunch of physical mitigation instead of crit rating. I'll, I'll wear that. While Gimli and I I'm about 20% uh, through on my way to level 142 now. Uh, talk to Ar 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 Arvalon in the center of Gleniath and King's Gondor. Yes, I'll do that. Right after I put on my new shoulder item, which uh, looks okay, actually. Not as stylish as what I'm currently wearing, of course. This is theoretically what I'm wearing. This is what it looks like I'm wearing. As you can tell... This is a hobbit with style. And that is no longer needed. We will disenchant that for 200 embers of enchantment. Easy peasy. We have we have ring sign everywhere. Ring sign. Uh, let's get the main quest. Uh, I'm not sure. I bet if you do a Google, although actually, I need to stop saying if you do a Google because Google search is so bad these days. Um, if you did a network search or possibly uh, ask Chat GPT uh, what Steam games have allowed for refunds past the two-hour playtime. That wouldn't surprise me if it was a super shoddy PC port that got the the money back. Last of Us. There are no shortage of them, certainly. Yeah, the Google search has gone to shit. And there was a really good article I read maybe two weeks ago about a guy who who pinned the blame squarely on one guy at you at Google. And he made a quite compelling case. You are welcome to Glanielf, my friend. I'm on the welcome. king's business, no less. Collect tokens from the boxes in Glanielf. I have tried duck duck though. Haven't used it enough to actually have a clear impression or description. Uh, evidently, um, what's his name? Sam Altman was talking about how they're going to be bringing out their AI search in competition to Google. I am unimpressed. And there's a third collection box. Yeah, Google has clearly lost the SEO wars. And they've done it to themselves. Ah, 
I should, before I forget... Even before I cash in the quest, because that might <coughs> distract me, get the damn stable master. How can I be of service? Which I have spoken of frequently, including last night, about how goddamn stupid it is that we have to click on those things. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and move my milestone to here from Harland, from the Harland. So many tokens have been cast in support of my proposal. This is nearly all. Glimly, Gimli, son of Glowin, son of Groin. Yeah, or Groin, if you prefer. I did not understand this proposal when Arbalon told it to us, and I still do not. He expects Sergon to simply abandon the lordship of Lebanon because a few families thought he should. No dwarf would do this. At any rate, the sooner we get to Pelargir, the sooner we return to Minas Tirith with tidings we sought. Thank you for your input. What other quests do we have around here? Anabin. I never thought to see such happy days. Pick as up these. a sack of crops from Mileth's home. Another delivery. We hobbits, we deliver. Evidently. What do you want? Feed the pigs in Glaniath. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Sack of crops. Deliver it back to Anabin. Lothwin, where's Anabin? God damn it. Over there. Oh, bless you. Lothwin's crops are next. Uh, pick up the sack of crops from Lothwin's. Oh, my God. Not only am I the delivery hobbit... Can't even ride. You are most welcome, my friend. Oh, we're done. That probably wasn't too terrible. Pig. Name or rank? Oink. Oink, said the pig. I'm feeding the pigs. I'm quite the hero, you know. Friend of the king. Let me feed your pigs. Uh, let's see. I fought my way to the top of Minas Morgul. Worked my way through Mordor, did the whole tour of Kirith Ungol, bopped around in Angmar a bit, you know, but please let me feed your pigs. I must be king. Well, actually, I must not be the king because I have pig shit all over Will me. Will no one aid me in this? I aided you. Shut up! My God, nerve of some people. Uh, no. 
next use is in an hour and 11 minutes. We have none? I think we have none. Yeah, I have none. None available. We'll Chop heaven. firewood and Completely pull weeds. Okay. Sun. It's XP, guys. That, that's all I can say. Hardy weeds. I've heard of the Hardy Boys. I read a lot of those books when I was a kid. Just saying. Anyone else have any scut work for me in this shithole of a town? You know, f personal friend of the king and everything. There is so much to be done. Will it ever end? Will it ever end? You got me helping you out, you lazy bastard. Oh my god. Lothwin? There is always work to Find be done. Find the Corsair camp west of Galaniath. Oh, I'm sure they'll be uh, lovely people. I don't see it anywhere. Ah, there. Okay. Pillar gear. All right. Nothing's taken us to Tumladen yet. So that's a plus, I suppose. You didn't miss a thing other than me uh, chopping wood, pulling weeds, and feeding pigs. If you weren't around for the, peed, the, the feed, wow, the pig feeding, that was definitely the highlight. And that is a follow by Elton Chun Jr. Not being confused with Wang Chun. Uh, thank you very much. I have one. And only one spiel, and here it comes. Let me loosen up. Welcome to my humble little stream of misfunction, malfunction, dysfunction, and frequently complete and total unfunction. You are most welcome indeed, and thank you very, very much for the follow, and I hope your Saturday evening is going well. All right, we are now off to Pelar Gear. That would be Peller Gear. Should I go to the encampment of the Corsairs? I will. That's a Lynx. I see fires. And there's my fireworks, so they'll know I'm coming. They're bad guys. I found the camp. What am I supposed to do now? Defeat Buchad. Well, we come around the back way, or the side way, or some other way. Maybe we can pull just him. And if not, maybe we can just pull him and then run away. <coughs> After he's come over all dead. I'm going to run now. In the language of the old MMORPG, train! Oops. Yeah, I know. I, I irritated the links. Using any of the landscape difficulty mods? I am not. I'm just playing vanilla difficulty. I'm mostly playing for the new content.
I'm about 40% done with the uh, level 142. I have discovered Pelar gear. I guess I never did Pelar gear's epic battle with this character. That's certainly possible. Captain Thandor hails you in greeting. Greetings, Captain Thandor. It brings me joy to see you return to Pelar Isn't he the Burninator? With the specter of war. Pretty sure. Us. I know. Trogdor. You wish to see Sirgon, Lord of Lebanon? His manor is down the street to the west. He'll be pleased to see you, I imagine, but be warned that his captivity during the war has left its mark upon him and his spirit is not as vital as it once was. And we have another quest over here. Is this another quest for a kid, or is there another hobbit here? Pandron, please come out. It's safe. Nobody will hurt you. I won't let that happen. Upon hearing your footsteps, the girl turns away from the door. Oh, hello. Could you help me? My little brother's barricaded himself in our home. I'm going to talk to Candron through the door. Funnily oh. enough, in one of my old D&D &D campaigns, um, I had a character named Candron Fell Candron. Not C-A-N-D-R-O-N, but pronounced the same. He was the Takriya Lord of uh, Shadows. What if the Corsairs are angry? People come back and the guards don't know. The boy pauses. You can fight, can't you? Could you help me check if it's really safe outside? Go to the top of the stairs near the Minardil stand. Yeah, okay, fine. Battle hit done eventually. Possibly. Maybe. Uh, nope, but he's still down here. Oh, fine, I'll mount up. I have found a place to scout for Candron. Okay, this is one of the... I have scouted this place. It is now well and truly scouted. So I think yesterday I started the day off at like 73,000 morale and now I'm at almost 90,000. Well, this looks cozy. Nice big fire. Ooh, what's roasting? It isn't halfling, is it? Oh, another roast in here. Getting a bit peckish. Sir Gon nods at you as you approach. Sir going, Sir going, Sir Gon. Welcome to my home. What brings you so far from the White City? Uh, you tell him that Elisar is sent to help heal the hurts of the war. That's a worthy purpose. The war may be ended, but the scar left cut deep. Reluctantly, you tell Sargon the people of Glaniath have proposed that he step down as Lord of Lebanon and leave the lordship to his son, Faltheron, and show him the tokens they cast on that purpose. I see. Well, fuck them. I'm their lord. They don't like it. I'm going to go hang every single person in the town. He's probably not going to say that. Maybe the people of Glaniath are right. The days of my youth are far behind now. Besides, this is not supposed to be my life. Meet me in the room of keepsakes to the north. I want to show you something. Oh, dear God, please tell me you're not... You're going to be fully clothed, right? That, that's all I'm asking, Sir Gon. Fully clothed, right? Bloat hasn't gotten better. Uh, I would agree, and the servers still are not running smoothly. They keep telling us they're working on it. Yeah, I'm working on immortality, too. So far, it's working. I was once the master of fleets of Gondor. I sailed across the Bay of Belfalas at the direction of the steward and brought the might of Gondor to bear wherever it was needed. 
When I was held captive during the war, I feared for my family and for the people in my charge, but I'm ashamed to admit that I also feared I would die on land. I was a man of the sea, but in recent days, I felt pinned up in the city in this kingdom in my very title, Lord of Lebanon. Rather, I'd be once again the Lord of Ships, the Lord of Tide and Wave. See the keepsakes I have gathered in my life and know what I have come to miss. Uh, it's a boot. Uh, a stuffed white bear? Yes, that's a creature of the sea. Uh, head of a ferocious beast. That looks like the head of a fell beast, actually. A Rohiric tapestry depicting Fulka and the boar. Uh, Rohan, not well known for their um, sailing prowess, either. Rohiric tapestry depicting the red arrow. Again, that's kind of a land thing. A friend gave me a number of tapestries depicting friendship between Gondor and Rohan. Sorcerer's skeleton and armor. This fellow set one of my ships alight with evil sorcery. Now I keep an eye upon him here. Well, that's a little, just a tiny bit dark. Collection of shields. I have taken many an enemy shield in battle. I display some of them here. A large preserved skull with tusks. That's a, a heffalump or mumakil. No, I never saw this creature alive. I recovered its bones in the southern beach, I think it said. Brilliant pink jewel. I traded for this gem in a seaside market 20 years ago. It remains as brilliant today. Well, yeah, it should. Stuffed birds. Ooh, I like stuffing. These stuffed birds were a wedding gift from an old friend drowned at sea. Uruk armor on display. The Uruk who wore this boarded my ship just off the shield isles. Now it's mine. Cabinet of aged orc armor. The armor of the first slain orc. Had I perished, my armor might have been in a case like this one. Wow, that's really freaking dark. And a uh, caged songbird. I know why the caged songbird sings. That's in book reference. I read that in 11th or 12th grade. I found this fellow just off the Langstrand a few years ago, and he sings beautifully. So many memories. Perhaps my son should succeed me. It took the folk of Glaniath to make me realize something I think I have known for these past few months and did not express. My heart does not belong on land. I wish to sail again. Guabo. I can better serve King Elisar from the deck of his ship as I did in prior years. Faltheron should rule in Lebanon. Hi, Faltheron. You're about to be lord. My father has been seized by one of his moods again, I see. He's always suffered from the call of the gulls, the pull of the sea. Uh, better than the uh, call of the sea and the pull of the gulls. That would be a little weird. But it has been worse in recent days. I do not desire to rule in Lebanon, but I will do so if that is my father's wish and the will of the king. I'm about halfway done with level 141. That day's not yet here, but you must tell me what brings you to Pelargir. The armor of the usurper? I, I know it. Angbor of Lamadon sent it to us several moons ago. Wasn't one of the Nazgul and Mirkwood called the Blade of Lebanon? Uh, yes, I believe he was. The Certainly the something of Lebanon. I don't remember if it was the Blade. Uh, you are welcome to see for yourself. The armory of Pelargir is to the south of the manor. In my permission, the guards will allow you to pass. I will accept. And I noticed this was a door that would take me outside. You are absolutely right, though. It was the something of Lebanon, I think, Blade. But there was definitely a Lebanon in there somewhere. I'm going to guess that he was a, a lord in Lebanon. When he was given the ring. Kanaka, did you ever do... Uh, I think you were probably away from the game by then. They did... Uh, I thought a really well done piece of content that took place at the siege of Baradur in the Second Age. I thought they did a fine job with that. Uh, must be up the steps. Left after Sapiens was a combative piece of crap in the Helm's Deep beta. That's about what I thought it was. thought it was somewhere in Rohan. I'm too 
too far away to scout for Candor. Ah, this must be the place. There it is. Uh, clicky there. All right, let's find that third location we need to find for Candrum and Scout. Also, greetings, friend. Greetings. Make sure I get the damn far kinder to that sack of uselessness than I would be. Well, I like to save my venom for those who, for whom I personally feel it. I'm not fond of a lot of the changes they implemented, but because I wasn't involved in the beta or in an up close and personal investigation, the decisions affected me, but I didn't really have any personal animus because I don't know what role everyone played. Talk to Hennowin. And another questy complete. Uh huh, there we are. Watch him throw a beta tester under the bus for SFG's mithril price gouging and then ban the tester so he couldn't defend himself on the forums. Well, yeah. That's sadly, that is the kind of um, behavior I've come to expect from any official forum. Whether it's a person directly related to the company or just a mod with power. Kugril. You have come at the request of Lord Sirvan and his son? Check the armor of the usurper remains inside the Pelargir armory and defeat pests within the armory. community manager for games in general seems to attract. I think a very large part of it is also that they have to deal with gamers being jerks. And at a certain point, a lot of them just stop killing. <laughs> Which is uh, understandable, but that's not an excuse. It's a rat. Rats, rats, rats. Now that's uh, four dead rats. Oh, and we get crawlers too, awesome. Who doesn't like crawlers? I am not a bug person. I do not like bugs. I am in fact an entomophobe. And yet you will not see me asking for a uh, entomophobe mode in my games. The armor of the usurper remains where it was left. Assuming that's it there. Talk to Kugril. That's an unusual name. I do not recognize the roots of the name. Normally, my knowledge of Lord of the Rings root words is pretty good. I don't recognize that. Castamere's armor remains where left. I told you so, but look here. The skulking woman is back. She watches us from yonder, pretending that we're not the object of her attention. 
Cast to me as armor remains where it was left. I told you so. Legolas? I have had an idea. Oh my god. Legolas has had an idea. Wow. Please share it before it dies of loneliness. He wants me to pretend to be angry. Fine. I'll pretend to be angry. I got plague from one of those rats, by the way. Thank you. I was not targeting him. You are correct. Thank you, sir. I should have expected no less from such as you. He then lowers his voice. Now, uh, you should stroll most casually in the direction of the skulking spy, my friend. Let there be no hard feelings between us. Uh, semi-hard? Uh, the suspicious onlooker. Where is the suspicious onlooker? I don't see anyone looking on suspiciously. Must be in that direction, because there's a ring. Is it Ithil there? I beg your pardon, stranger. Yes, you do. But I could not help but notice your argument. But that elf, did he give you an insult? I have seen such as he treat others with disrespect. Elves? Really? Tell the woman you took issue with some of the statements he made about the new Queen of Gondor. And she studies you closely, is that so? Perhaps you would like to hear my own thoughts. Um, sure. And I'd like the XP and the the, the rep and uh, some enhancements for rooms, please. I do not begrudge Ooh. Elisar his choice of why. Were he not king, he Let's could see. marry Let's see, I'm going to get uh, double the armor, a slight increase in will, almost four times the vit, I'll lose resistance rating, and critical rating, but I'll gain tactical mastery and tactical mitigation and two essence slots. Uh, I'll accept. Do not begrudge Elisar his choice of wife. Were he not king, he could marry anyone he wished. And you would have my blessing, but if he is to be king, he should put the needs of Gondor ahead of his heart's call. Gondor is to have a queen, it should be a woman of Gondor. You do realize that the first king of Gondor was a half-elf, right, lady? Uh, I will agree with Ithil. She nods and smiles discreetly. Return to Singon's Manor. And the kings of Numenor before Gondor as well. Exactly. Pick up a crate of chisel tips. Wow, I know at some point I am going to misspeak chisel tips and tizzle chips is going to come out of my mouth. Just want to put that out there. Is he still in the Room of Memories, or whatever he called it? He just wants to be a boat boy. Oh, Gimli and Legolas. If it were up to me, I would have shown this woman the blade of my axe. That's a little bit much. You to be play acting spy, so be it. When it comes to fighting, Legolas I will return to Minas Tirith and tell what we've learned. Okay, Legolas. I have two questions for you. Would you rather walk to school or carry your lunch? And how many fingers am I holding up? First, was she convinced by your display? Second, is she a supporter of the heirs of Castamere, as we supposed? Yes to both. I'm sorry to tell you, it fell to you to play this part, but if she believes your interests are aligned with hers, we may be able to follow this thread to its very source. And we'll talk to Falthron. 
Legolas, Legolas and, and Gimli told me about the woman you met. Yeah. yeah. What were her words? One of the beacons of Gondor remains lit, and it casts Castamere's shadow long and far. She may have been speaking in riddles, but I think it's more likely she met her people keep one of the beacons lit even in the aftermath of the war. Scouts have reported smoke on the horizon to the northwest. It's possible Amon Englebed could be the source of it. Use caution. These could prove to be dangerous folk. Uh, uh, step back outside, hopefully. Yes, we can. Well, it doesn't have, my uh, tongue twister doesn't have me in a tizzle just yet. But it, I, I, I feel I am very, very likely to mess that one up. We're going to remove that from tracking. We'll get the quest from the dwarf up here. Because, hey, all XP is good XP. Chisel tips. Well met, I am Denido, master of procurements. A crate of chisel tips. And where do these have to go? To Irzaben. Oh, I can mount up. And where is Irzaben? There, Lower Lebanon. We did grab... Going to double check. Pretty sure I grabbed it, but because I hate it so much when I don't grab it. What can I do for you? Yes, I had grabbed it, all right. Chisel tips. I haven't misspoken it yet. I feel it is an inevitability, however. Corsair Raider. Right outside your gates. Come on, guys. Seriously. At least put a little work in. I'm not going to be able to cross the river that way. Uh-huh. Where was the other quest? Also over there. Uh, maybe? I don't think so. Crap. We go back in. Bridges, you know. I've done my time in Everswim. I'd rather not do the Gondorian version of Everswim. That's uh, one of my fireworks. I'm on the fireworks pony. It matches my outfit. Seriously. Lovely and scenic Pelar gear. I only did the Pelar gear quests a couple of times that I remember.
quest. What a surprise! I'm glad to see Find you. Find the, the now food that stall run day, by Haradrim. Okay. Not too far away. New quest: a cure for weariness. You really sure you want to uh, to be eating food made by the guys you were fighting a couple of months back? I mean, it's probably good. I'm just a little surprised that you know people are going to be eating Haradrim food. Looks like the right place. What are you doing? Feeding an army? Ah, I jest. The food will be ready in a moment. Just wait right here. Three, two, one, zero. Here you go. If your small army is still hungry afterwards, come back. I'll return to him, but she also has a quest. You there. Are you looking for work? Collect savory herbs. I will accept. I doubt I will complete, but I will accept. ingredient pickled gondorian bring the crate to Urzaban alright return to Othor well, there he is before you can approach Othor Nassar waves you over Nassar ha, I remember you he Othor squints at you with a look of intense concentration his eyes light I up ha, I remember you Othor didn't think I would but I do Here's your lamb hot pot. Ooh, lamb hot pot sounds really good. Okay. Ah, Sold. Truth be told, this is a tight spot we are stuck in. My reputation has changed. Ah, uh, let's see. I'm now a friend of the renewal of Gondor. And that's opened up the ally. That's the completion for the deed. The title, Friend of the Renewal of Gondor, and ten. Ten Lotro points! I am rich. Go to Lord Sirgon's Manor again? Don't want to. Maybe later? What can I do for you? So let's see. I'm in Peller gear. That's stranded sailors. What can I do for you? Where's the other place in Peller gear? Peller gear East Gate. Okay. God, the prices are ruinous. 130 silver. An eighth of a gold right across the town. I tell you. Fucking Gondor Uber is just getting way out of control. Alright. Back over to Sirgon's Manor. I keep wanting to call him want to call him Sargon. A guard gestures for me to stop. Uh, along with Sargon being a historical figure, it was also a chess game that was available on the Apple II Plus many, many, many years ago. Have you come to help? Good. He has other matters to attend. I would ask that you. I shall talk to Glabo. Calibros said. 
My husband is rather busy at the moment, but you may talk to me. I must say this is troubling to hear. Pilar gear still bear scars left behind by the Corsair invasion. I shall help them, not as the Lady of Lebanon, but as myself. Okay, that seems Do not fret. very, very kind I of you. I may have a solution. That would be nice. I like solutions. Uh, war consumed most of our seafaring resources. We can't spare a ship for your friends. Please wait right here. I'll retrieve something. Calibros disappears in the manor. Comes back with what looks like a collection of papers and a sturdy lockbox. Would you deliver these orders and the lockbox to Captain Thandor? The Barbarian. Uh, he stands watch near East Pelar Gear Gates. I will do that for you. Thandor. He's the Burninator. Yeah, we talked to him earlier. Yes, I still know Trogdor. Thank you. Lady Calebros' lockbox. She did not tell you what this was for, did she? Then I suppose I shall find the answer here. He opens it up. Well, I was not expecting her to part with her heirloom just to fund this endeavor, but it is a noble cause, and I'm glad to see it. I will take things from here. All right, we now go back to Nassar, who's back by the other gate, the west gate. Sadly, as I discussed yesterday, this is what can I do for you? one of the things they do to stretch out the content a lot of back and forth you know and that's just for a side quest it's not even like you know the main quest which is what they kind of used to do is do it for the main quest to make the epic quests feel more epic I can hardly believe it. We she, found our way home. She agreed to meet with us and these papers with the seal of Sirgon. Now we wander freely about the city, despite every grudge she could hold against us. I can hardly believe it. We found our way home. No doubt the shipwrights of Pelargir have things to teach us, but I assure you they shall not be the only ones teaching. Another deed completed. Looked it up. The Nazgul was indeed the Black Blade of Lebanon. Sounds right. Uh, I'm an aide to Upper Lebanon. And five more Lotro points. I believe that's a total of 30 Lotro points, which is 1% of what was required to purchase the Corsairs of Umbar expansion. Of course, it's also uh, in six months, I mean, my lifetime subscription gave me enough to get the expansion. Oh, what's in there? That is, oh, a secret ingredient. Oh, sure, I guess we can find the savory herb. As long as it's not cilantro. I fucking hate cilantro. And I'm not one of the people who has the it tastes like soap gene. It doesn't taste like soap to me. It just tastes awful. And I can detect it in extremely small amounts. It doesn't taste like soap. It tastes like bad. Savory herbs. I am about to run out of double XP time. Sad to say. One more. All right. Am I out of the place I'm supposed to be? I am. One more. There we go. One more savory herb. In Mirkwood, the Black Blade of Lebanon had less morale than you currently possess. Well, I'm pretty impressive at nearly 90,000. I am a doughty hobbit. Which doesn't just mean chubby, although, yeah, in this case, chubby. Hmm. 
This is Globo Smackbody. He is one of the uh, three cousins. That belong to the um, Smallberry Shortwood clan. And here you are, Jodha. We started out feeding the shipbreakers and shipbuilders, but before we knew it, half of Pelan did it. New deed, Tales of Lower Lebanon Renewed. Renewed? You mean I'm naked again? A little word-based humor. And I use the word humor very, very closely. And let's face it, uh, Merkwood was level 65 content, and I'm a little bit above level 65. We must not let our vigilance lapse. All right, return to Pelar Gear, Dol Amroth, Lond Kirian. We've got some housing stuff, Tome of the Brown Cow, which of course would have to be named How Now. Seafarer's Humble Essence Box. More goodies. That I cannot afford. Where are we off to next? Uh, basically north. Basically go basically north. Presumably over there, to that there city. Sickle fly. 36,000 morale on the flies. That is a fly the size of a VW. Sickle flies just outside the gates. Oh, this place must have. This place got messed up bad. Oh, this is not where I'm supposed to be. Okay, then. Evidently, this city got sacked. At least that's my guess. Lots of sickle flies around. Bandits. More bandits. And I ride and ride to catch up with the sun, but it's sinking. Musical reference. More boars. More sickle flies. New deed reclaiming Lower Lebanon. And who am I supposed to talk? There it is. Erzbin. Hail and well met. You say you come from Belagir with the great Tenido was supposed to be procuring. Your arrival is timely. Wood snipers, forest like prowlers, and a bandit way. captain. Let's My Govanen. Mark Cullible Trees. And Lower Lebanon at the behest of the Lady Arwen. Malbeer, search for Gurian. Greetings, stranger. Let's grab a stable point and move along, I think. 
I am at your service. Back to Pelargir, I think. Is that like a dwarven city? I think that might be a dwarven city here in Gondor. I am at your service. Uh, I'm gonna find out. <laughs> I'm curious. So I set fire to a mithril coin. I have discovered Farouk Zahar, and it is definitely a dwarven city. I bid you welcome. He bids me welcome. I am at your service. Uh, Pelar Gear Westgate. Hey, back there. I was just curious, and in fact, it is definitely Dorvish. Amon Anglabed, the beacon outside Ost Anglabed. So I think I could make that out up there. Wild boar, sweet sickle flies. I'm assuming that's the uh, thing there. Is that a wolf? Ah, uh, we've got wolves. We have woofs. Woof woofs. Wild boar threatening me. I'm not afraid. A wild boar is simply bacon that delivers itself. got a wild boar just right there waiting for you and if you're looking to hunt me that's just silly we've got bandits lots more sickle flies eh, we have to ride the long way around Pardon me, yawn. Old man. Being old. But I'll go ahead and take a little bit of a shortcut. bed awaits. Honey, I'm home. I've discovered Ost Anglebed. Grab the stable point. How can I be of service? Kumri, collect tart berries for Kumri. Get up, oh, rubs this away. Wouldn't want a, a straight path. Nah, of course not. Hmm. 
Maldor? My soldiers should have reported back. Wants me to Did talk to Maestrel. That's a gate that I don't think opens. At least not yet. Hmm. How am I supposed to get out to there? It does look like this is the way out. No, no, it's not. Over here. As sadly is always so often the case, the maps in Latro are mostly for cosmetic purposes only. And are not are often completely useless for actually navigating. And there's the uh, beacon. Realize that we won the war, right guys? The beacon remains lit, as Falfarn suspected. I agree with the man. What man? Nathan? Is that the man? No, that's not the man. Should be that man. The man raises an eyebrow and stares at you appraisingly. Can I help you with something? He asks carefully, and you respond by noting the beacon casts a long shadow like Castamere did in years past. The man smiles broadly. Ha ha! As suspected, it was the past phrase. You must be the kindred spirit I was told to expect. My name is Maython. I've been keeping the beacon lit. It is to be a sign that although the war is over, the fighting is not yet done. Give me my robes of Gondor's vanguard, if you please. If we are to advance this cause, and how do they look? need people to know that Elisar does not speak for all of Gondor? That's not a great look, really. Fortunately, that's not how they'll look on me, because on me they will still look totally sexy, like this. That's how they look on me. Everything looks sexy on this hobbit. And the sexiest look of all is when he's wearing nothing at all. Ew. Uh, let's pretend I, I, I never said that. Okay? Let's go with that. Uh, 100 motes of enchantment. Just threw up in your mouth a little bit? Yeah, that was pretty much my reaction too, and I said it. If we're to advance this cause, we need people to know that Elisar does not speak for all of Gondor. I've written a number of parchments proclaiming that Balakor survived the war, and the marshals of, and marshals of force that will rise up against Elisar and his elf queen. The people of Gondor need to ready themselves for the coming conflict. Dax, where Balakor has hidden himself. There will be time later to discuss it. For now, we need to distribute those papers. Alright. I'm going to commit high treason. But I'm doing it for the boss. Winter Delver's Essence Box. Well, I now have a piece of equipment with a couple of um, essence slots in it. And I have two of these boxes. Conveniently, two essences. Two essence slots. Uh, let's see. Physical mastery. Ha, ha, ha. No. Tactical Mastery, 1,700 Tacticals, not bad. Critical Rating, that seems pretty good. Maybe a Critical Rating and a Tactical Rating would be a good choice. Finesse is never bad. Block, Parry, Evasion, Healing. Ooh, Healing! Ooh, ooh! Resistance, Might, Agility, Will, and Fate. Well, it already has Will and Fit. Tactical Mastery and Tactical Mitigation. Well, we can definitely go with Crit for one. To get some of that lost critical back. And the second one. Finesse, maybe? I haven't had any problem penetrating, if you'll pardon the phrase.
I'm going to double up on the critical rating. Let's see. And into the robes of Gondor Vanguard. And into the robes of Gondor Vanguard. There we go. Uh, it's a roughly 4,000 crit rating in there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Where are we off to next? He, uh, healing is far too groupy. I couldn't have said it better myself. It's ooh. Ooh. I mean, I can heal myself, certainly, and do. But generally speaking, I have to agree that, that uh, the healing is... Healing is for people who don't want to die. I want to die. Ah, but if they die faster than I die, I win. What do we have? Uh, something over here. Not sure which one that is. It's the imposter. Should be right here somewhere in there. Uh, collect tart berries, collect Mathons. Parchments in the crate outside the hall of Ost Anglaban. Looking for a crate. Looking for ah ah ah. I've got a crate. Technically not the barrel. Next to the barrel. But yes, thank you. Dangerous words, stranger. Uh, distribute his parchments in support of the house of Castamere to residents of Ostanglebed or burn the parchments in the nearby brazier. Well, I've... I've passed out one already. Not usable now. No, I'm, I think I'm supposed to. I, I've got to find out. I've got to follow the conspiracy wherever it leads. I mean, I'm a friend of the king's. He's counting on me. I don't know about this. So far, they're they're not enthused, which is good to know that the king still has his loyal subjects. Uh, there's one should be one over here on the left. More of them down here. Why did that change focus on me? Praising Castamir. Be careful with those, friend. I know no fear. You'll get in real trouble if you're not careful, stranger. I know no fear. Return to Maythal. As I know, no fear. The king and I are like brothers. Except entirely unrelated. And a lot of the stuff that he did I wasn't around for. But uh, I mean, our paths you know, ran into each other a bunch. I was invited to his wedding, you know.
Nathan is missing, in his place stands a guard of Ost Anglabed. You don't know anything about the lighting of this beacon, do you? Performed a great many deeds, you know anything about the lighting. Maybe you can do me a favor, bring this beacon oil to Howlin for safekeeping. If we store the oil further away, Howlin guards the stores by the northeast fountain in Ost Anglabed. I'm going to pick up, pick up the beacon oil. I'm assuming that's the beacon oil? I mean, it should be. Maybe you can do me a favor? Bring this beacon oil to Howland for safekeeping. I would if I could pick it up. Turn. Delete target's nearest quest item. Nothing. Yeah. Uh, log out and log back in. We'll see if that works. Hey, I've got an idea. I'll enter Middle Earth. Anytime now. And beacon oil. And I'm carrying it, because of course I am. Wouldn't be a Lotro expansion without a game-stopping bug, without uh, bunches of them, in my expert, uh, recent experience, anyway. Pardon another yawn. I'm not bored. Although quests like this where I'm forced to run are boring. Quite. Who am I supposed to oil up? After I deliver the beacon oil, you hear someone whispering my name. Ah, Malathion again. Malathion again. That's that's an old topical news reference. Sorry I didn't meet you at the beacon. That lad Ben was sniffing around. The guards really trust you, don't they? It was truly a stroke of good fortune that sent you to us. You have the barrel of weapons. Bring it to me outside the eastern entrance. Wait for Mathon to leave before you begin his errand. He sprints away. Talk to Halwyn by the supplies near the northwest fountain of East Anglabed. Halwyn? What do you need? Tell Halwyn that Ladben asked you to bring him a barrel of weapons so he could rearm the guards of Ost Anglabed and keep troublemakers from relighting the beacon. Halwyn nods. Pick up either of the barrels north of the fountain and carry it to Maytham. North of the fountain barrels. Those barrels? North of the fountain barrels over there. Aha, these barrels are sparkly. Barrel of rusty weapons, barrel of fine weapons. Well, I'll take him the rusty weapons. Thank you. I'm doing my best. Good job. Well, you know, we, we do what we can to try and 
not betray the king while we're kind of betraying the king. Uh, wait, see this one over here? Which one is it? I picked up a barrel. Carry it to Mathon below the cliffs south of the eastern entrance of the city. Jeez. Okay, so I have to head out the east. Is, that a, is there an exit over there? I don't think there's an exit over there. Yeah, doesn't look like it. And we have another person carrying weapons here as well. Grimbo. They've got a head start on me. I don't think I can catch them unless they make a mistake. I'm, I'm trying to drift off of them, but uh, I, I don't think I'm close enough. I will cut my corner here and see if I can tidy up the distance a little bit. Not much. Grimbo is going to win the race. Curse you, Grimbo! I won't ask you to lie on our behalf, but please don't tell the sergeant about Varion. Uh, I'll report back to him myself oh. once I think of something okay, to say. I don't know what I was doing with that quest, but okay, sure. Uh, red is the taste of home. That's the berries. Uh, uh, he's to the south. All right. Uh, yeah, that was like, I could feel the coming. Sees the rusty implements and shrugs. Better than nothing, you said. I am grateful for your assistance, my friend. As you should be. You are welcome to attend the meeting. Excellent. Find the entrance to the dwelling in the northern half of Lynn here, where supporters of the heirs of Castor intend to meet. Traitors. Bunch of filthy traitors. Wild boar, bandit. Wild boar will only threaten, the bandit would attack. Let's see if we can get the berries, the tart berries. While we're here, mmm, tart berries. If you made a little dessert out of these, would that be a tartberry tart? I have questions. They're not very good questions. But I have them. Need one more tart berry. Well, look at that tart berries. That is all of the tart berries I need. Wolves. Multiple wolves. Woof woofs. There's Grimbo, who outran me. Bastard. Uh, yeah. Kumri and have There's your berries. Wow, and he vanished in a puff of smoke. You give the man berries and he just actually goes invisible. That's impressive. Shift change. Talk to Maldor. Ooh, firework celebration. Well. As long as the gate is guarded, I will await Lastrail's report. Another quest complete? I am a quest completing machine. Where the hell am I going now? Oh, all the way down there. Oh, then I guess we exit. There's another quest over here. What does Baryon have? Talk to Ithriel. Those are three names, that's for sure. Well, there's two of them. So two of them are close by. Of course I want an apprentice. 
The trouble is, I haven't the coin to hire one. Need I remind him of what happened last time he came to visit me? Evidently, the last time he tried, he ended up puking. My understanding is a tannery would smell mighty bad. My father regretfully declines to take any new apprentices at this time. Well, bad luck for Baryon. I think he's a shit out of luck, as uh, we like to say here in Gondor. His face falls when you deliver the news. Thanks for trying. More XP for me. We do like our experience points around here. That's not the right way. That's not the right way either. That's the right way. These Gondorians in their... their fancy places and unclear maps winding back and forth upon each other. It's just very confusing. We hobbits, we like a simpler way of life. Living in filthy holes in the ground. Like the rodents we so closely resemble. Let's see. Yep, down here and then over there. Riding the width of Gondor. Mind you, occasionally, eventually, we're going to head to Umbar, eventually. I think we actually start out here at the Shield Isles. Before we get to Umbar proper. Umbar proper is supposed to be really cool. But I guess we'll see eventually. Uh, I think it would be a wise course of action for me to grab the Stable Master here. I don't think I've got that one yet. Generally speaking, it's always wise to get all of the stable masters you can that you get close to. Because there's nothing more annoying than, you know, riding for ten minutes to get to a place and forgetting to get the stable master and then having to ride for ten minutes again some length of time later because you forgot. Not that I've ever done that even once before in my life. And I'll repeat what I said earlier and yesterday that I really, really wish more games did it. That if you got anywhere close, it just unlocked automatically. So that you don't have to talk to the stable master, this fellow here. Greetings, friend. Stable master, and you can't catch a ride here. It doesn't even make sense logically. Now, certainly games don't have to make complete logical sense all the time. Sacrifices are made for gameplay purposes. I understand this. I don't know the gameplay purpose, other than to occasionally elicit enormous frustration from the players. 
to not unlock them when you basically hit anywhere in a very large radius around the location. I will resist going to that one, as that is a longer ride than the last. This is the city of Lin here. It is nice that we're getting a good ride through um, southern Gondor. For so many players, and I think people who read the book, they don't realize that Generally speaking, southern Gondor is where most of Gondor is. Alright, we have another stable master here in Lin here. Grab that one. How can I be of service? I will also grab the milestone here and change my bind point. Certainly, a linear crawler. They've got enormous bugs in their city. What the bleep? And enormous rodents. Wow. This place is pretty awful. Rats just running around in the streets. Big ol' honkin' bugs, too. I mean, ew. This is the building Mathon described. The abandoned home, presumably. No, no, we've got... What does Lion These are troublesome times, indeed. Talking to Aircar at Dole Branor. All right, well, that will be sometime later. Restoring the lighthouse. Presumably, this is the place we want to be. Enter the building by the fountain in the northern half of Linear. You there, you're the friend of whom Mython spoke. Cast him your supporter. Oh, he's a jock. <laughs> he's a supporter. Uh, never mind. Mython vouches for you, but you'd better be on your best behavior while you're with us, Globo. If you put a single toe out of line, you'll wish you hadn't. Praise the memory of Castweer and all his heirs. I hope Mython is right that you can be trusted. Or what? Find him somewhere within the abandoned homes. So not this one? No, oh, perhaps back here. Ah. Castamere supporters, as you approach, the Castamere supporters fall quiet. Hello, Castamere supporters. More Castamere supporters. Lots of them. No shortage of Castamere supporters. Globo! My thon. You found the right place. I'm delighted for you to join us, my friend. To have another member of LSR's court among our numbers seems almost too great a gift to be believed, but I'll mark our town. The meeting is soon to begin. I'll follow Follow me, downstairs. please. The meeting will be held downstairs. Oh, downstairs. Well, then. You should introduce yourself to my friends before we begin. Uh, hey, Beth? Hey, Beth! I think you're one of us just because Mython invited you to this meeting. Not proving yourself to me. I spoke with a gossip monger in town. It says King Elzar has already departed Minas Tirith and he travels this way. Perhaps you will soon have a chance to prove yourself to me after all. Legnir? 
Is it true you're close to the king? That would be useful indeed. Tell him that Mython mentioned another member of LSR's court as a supporter. He studies you carefully. Aye, but you have yet to earn my trust. Until you do, I'll speak no more about that. That seems like a sound and reasonable decision, trusted ear. Nothing to say to you. Count yourself fortunate. I have not cut you down where you stand. You may have deceived my thumb, but I am not fooled by this part you play, hobbit. Okay. I was going to say he's a dick, but he's right. So, yep. And of course he's looking at my hobbit hairy toes. And who wouldn't? They are delightful. Fiber is good for everyone. Uh, do not trouble yourself over much. They will warm up to you when they learn how useful you'll be to us. I hope Elisar has enjoyed his kingship before it nears its end. I will observe the meeting. Who will Welcome speak? Welcome all to this gathering of our folk. Praise the memory of Castamir and all his heirs. Does he actually have heirs? Praise, Praise the, the heirs, heirs of Castamir. Ah, here is I feel. Welcome, welcome. We I have some new faces here today. Tumuldo Fierce Water and Nakasi Wave Reaper. Uh, who are your guests, I feel? Do they wish to join our ranks? I feel. I present to you Tumuldo Fierce Water and his wife Nakasi Wave Reaper. They bring tidings to us from Umba. We do. Umbar is elvish for fate. But who is this one who stands among you? Do the heirs of Castamir now ally with such as they? You got something to say to my face? I'll get on a box. It said that when Balakor the Scourge met his end, it was at the hands of dead men that he met it. They say it was King Elisar who commanded the killing blow, but others stood nearby, an elf, a dwarf, a hero who wore, bore the name Globo. I had no love for Balakor, Globo. Nakasi and I prayed upon the ships he sent north from Umbar before he came to power. But afterward, when we did not cease our roguery, he took one hand from each of us. They were ours to keep, and so we did, though we replaced them with these made of metal. Tumuldo raises his left hand, and it shines in the dim light of the cellar. The hands he cut from us were preserved, and now they decorate the cabin of our ship, each forever clasping the other a sign of our love, and also our desire for vengeance. Your part in the death of Balakor has robbed us of that vengeance. Sorry? You were there when Balakor was slain? I knew this worm could not be trusted. Say it again. One more time. Trust it here, be silent. What news do you bring from Umba, Tumuldo? Does Balakor's family ready an assault upon Gondor? They do not. What? Why? The heirs of Castamir no longer control Umbar. They have been overthrown. How can this be? This is a poor jest. Who thinks to supplant the heirs of Castamir? The kindred of the coins has made Umbar a free city. Stand against them, and they will free your head from your shoulders. Well, I would like to have a free... I would like free head. Legacy. Who wouldn't? But my wife speaks truth to you. A new power rules in Umbar. If you aid this power, you may be spared. Spared? If not... I have heard enough! The heirs of Castamir will not submit to more foreign rulers!
Who, who leads this kindred of the coins? Seven there are who lead it, but they speak with the people's voice. I did see a picture of the, and the seven members of the council of, of the for in kindred of coins at some point. We will give you time to think about our offer. Do not think over long. The Sea Shadow grants mercy, but rarely. Nakasi, my love. Shut your keiko. Again, she speaks truth. Steve, your choice is your own. Doesn't look like things went particularly well for my phone. I don't understand how this could have happened. We heard no word from the heirs of Castamere who remained in Umbar. But I believe they would send messages as soon as they could. From where sprang this kindred of the coins, and how could they so easily overthrow our folk? The heirs of Castamere were so established in the city, I can't understand it. What's become of Saclafel, the widow of Balachor? Or of Balachad, his son? What are we to do now? Distracting how many reused Anumina's assets you can identify? Well, yeah, that doesn't surprise me. They, I don't know if you saw, um, but in the financials from Enad Global 7, oh my god, um, there are a grand total of 60 people working for SSG. So that's between DDO and Latro, plus management and administrational stuff, 60 people. That's not a lot of people to run an MMO, so... I don't expect that number is going to be going up anytime soon. So you're going to see assets reused. My understanding is a lot of the stuff in Umbar is cool and interesting and new. So if that's the case, then, you know, at least you'll have that or will have that. I feel, why did you bring them to us? I feel. You saw their manner of dress? I thought there were smugglers or closets. How was I to know they serve another master? The kindred of the coins. Follow my thumb. Okay, a scream of anger from upstairs. That didn't really sound like anger. That Follow sounded me. like, uh... Impalement. More along the lines of impalement. Oh, no. Ah, Trastadir and the Castamere supporters. Tumuldo Fiercewater lies on the cold stone floor in a pool of his own blood. A Gondorian blade buried in his back. Ooh, back. That's not great. His wife, Nikasi, kneels by him, her eyes burning both with fury and unshed tears. Impalement screams are the bad ones. They are probably the worst. But uh, in this particular case, I guess you might technically say he was impaled and that he has a blade in him. But impalement in the classical sense is more along the lines of um, up the back door. Here what transpired. Dear. What have you done? What have you done? I planted my sword in his back, and I would do it again. So end all who threaten the heirs of Castamir. They were guests. They were under our protection. Who now? will protect you from me. I think Trastadir is probably screwed. This one. Oh yeah, that one where they sit you down on something and just leave you sitting. Yep. Hi, there we go. No, there's something about you that is different. You are not with this rabble, even as they seek to court you. Tumuldo and I know well that achieving a goal can 
at times mean you must ally with your enemies. Are you willing to die with these folk? Or will you stand with me to repay their treachery? The next one they stab in the back might be you. Or it might be a friend. Or it might be a lover. Tumuldo was all of these to me. They are both our enemies, my son. They must die. Really? You think you're gonna run away? Why do you say oh, that? More? Do I throw myself a heal? You know, just to be on the safe side. You will die for this. Casimir, guide my sword. Tumuldo stirs, he's alive, but only has moments. Nikasi, my love, you were right. Gondor must die. The song. Well, I killed a bunch of them. Got, got loot. Here, pardon me, I need to pick up their stuff. You saw how many there were on the way in. Yeah, yeah. They didn't all come, but bunches did. None of these vermin remain alive in this place, Tumuldo. You were avenged upon them. She turns her eyes to me. Let us leave this place. Go ahead of me. I will carry the body of my husband. He deserves to rest forever in the sea, and not in these vile houses of stone. I will travel now. Hello, dear. Yeah, I know. Akasi. My husband and I were at sea when Balakor summoned us my to join his fleet. My husband and I were at sea when Balakor summoned us to join his fleet. As he besieged Gondor. As I was saying. Instead, we quit the war and sailed for home, and so were we robbed of the chance to spit on his corpse, but not before he took something else from us, for my youngest brother died there in service to the Scourge. It meant we were near at hand when the uprising began, and then the, when the raves receded, the kindred of the coins ruled in Umbar, and the heirs of Castamer were the only were only a fetid memory. Ooh, nice use of the word fetid. Very good, Nagazi. Tumuldo and I swore to fight for the kindred, and fight we have, but I was not certain that Gondor would have to die until this day. Now, however, I am sure of it. The Sea Shadow hates Gondor, and he has chosen the manner of its doom. The song of waves and wind will spell the end of Elisar's Gondor, and you would be wise to leave the kingdom before it does. Nakasi briefly falls silent, waiting for Tumuldo to speak, but he is dead. She turns cold eyes upon you. Today we were allies, Globo. The next time we meet, it will not be so. This is the only warning I will give you. Gondor will pay for the death of Tumuldo. A thousand times over it will pay. Do not stand in my way. Lady, these people were fighting against Gondor. You're aware of that, right? So, you were killed by enemies of Gondor, not Gondor. You're just not very smart, are you? I should find a gossip monger in Lin here and learn if Elisar left Minas Tirith. I can't kill her. They don't give me opportunity. And, you know, this blade is going to get... It's going to catch on things when you swing it. I'm not sure that's very useful. Pardon the yawn. Another one. I know. I know. Well, there's never been a shortage of deus ex machina in every MMO story the tidings ever. Of of King Elisa. Can it be you haven't heard? You have not he has heard. departed the White City and begins a tour of his kingdom. It may be a few weeks, but he will be coming here if you wish to see him. Maybe that blade is like a historical sword breaker or sword catcher. Uh, it, it didn't have enough of the hooking elements for a sword. A Gerber blade? You mean it makes baby food? 
I have heard his traveling party will be quite large. Travel to the entrance so of Imloth Meloe in the King's Gondor. Ooh, I'll get a new hat. I like a new hat. I'll get a tome of the King's Pony. I'll get the King's Pony. I'll accept the quest. And... Travel to the entrance of Imloth Melui in the King's Gondor. Alrighty then. Hello there. Imloth Melui. I will travel. Another 130 silver. Must be the king, because he won't have poop all over him. Legolas, Gimli, the gossip monger spoke true. King Elisar's traveling party has come to Imloth Meluwe. He returned to Minas Tirith and told the king what we discovered. Sword was entirely impractical. Mal ninja blade, that does sound right. Tell us another group wishes Gondor ill. He's not going to turn around. Well, you have returned from your mission of secrecy. Tell him what happened. I do not grieve to hear that the sport of the heir has perished as a result of their own treachery, but they were a known danger, and I feel we could manage them easily. We know little or nothing of this kindred of the coins. That does worry me. Right, where's the king then? Oh, he's up there, isn't he? Elisar is a friend of mine. We just call him Strider. You know. We go way back, me and Strider. He doesn't even make me call him Your Majesty or any of that stuff. Just uh, Strider. Yep. We're good friends. Let's go way back. Me and Strider. Tower Guardhouse. Glindor. When the folk of Gondor see their king, they will rejoice, or we will exterminate them. The king's horses must be treated well if they're to carry this party across Gondor. It's been long since I returned to Tadrant. King Elisar. The war may be over, but we will not let our vigilance lapse. My friend, I want to thank you for accompanying Legolas and Gimli on their scouting mission. Of course. As you can see, I have at last prevailed at court, and now my tour of the kingdom can begin. Lower my voice to tell the king what you learned about the heirs of Castamere and the kindred of coins. Including, at last, with the worrisome news that someone near to the king may secretly support the heirs. He dismisses your way worry with a wave. Well, that's dumb. I guess you get you become king, you get stupid. I'm not troubled by this news, Glabo. I have brought only those I trust with me on this tour, including my most capable bodyguard. Tell Elisar you already spoke with Legolas and Gimli outside, and he smiles. I speak of another, my friend. You will find my fiercest bodyguard somewhere outside the hall of Lady Vanyalos, near the top of Imlath Melui. Right, okay. Uh, evidently, I'm going back outside. I'm assuming Elro here is here as well. Find King Elisar's trusted bodyguard somewhere outside the hall of Lady Evangelos. Oops. 
on the other side of the city, of course. I think this will get me where I need to go. Maybe not. No, it will not. Bodyguard. The queen, I'm gonna guess. Why should I remain behind? Is it not now nope. my kingdom also? It is Arwen, yes. Ask Arwen if she knows anything about a song of waves and wind and the queen thinks from when I've not heard of that song by that name, but songs of every sort have mysterious power, both upon the singer and upon those who hear them. One of the heralds who travels with the company is a minstrel of some repute. Perhaps he has heard of the song. Lineal is her name, and she should be outside the tower guardhouse in the center of Imlock Melody. And again, we're riding around, back and forth, and back and forth. Ask Luthien Tenuviel about the power of song she puts Sauron's boss under a spell with one. Well, I mean, it is nice to, you know, be a high elf, Noldor, and also a badass. Half Maya helps, certainly. Didn't remember the she was, but sounds right. Wind? I confess that song nothing waves comes wins, upon there to mind. Of Melody is to which that name could apply, but I confess that nothing comes to mind. I hope you're not, you have not, I have not disappointed Queen Arwen. I'll keep my ears open, blah, 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 blah. I have a new hat. Everyone, please look. I have a new hat. And very nearly a second level. Alright, we've got only one level appropriate essence box right now but nonetheless we will swap this out as it's all kinds of goodness over what we're currently using ah, i like the little uh, headband action on the hood but uh and that is 100 motes of enchantment that we will nab thusly Plus, we have the Tome of the King's Pony. It's bound to Globo. I might as well use it. Uh, the King's Pony. I assume it's a pet. It is a pet. It's a pretty spiffy pet. I gotta give it that. That's a pretty nice pet. If it was a Mount, I'd probably ride it. But normally, when I'm looking for a pet, I bust out the color coordinated peacock because it goes with my outfit. It's important, as a minstrel of note and repute, that you color coordinate at all times. Really can't, can't underestimate that enough. Options, quick slots, move that under there. There we go. She's Even got another in quest. Peace, Gondor is wide, and travel will take some time. I will accept to talk to uh, King Elisar in the Imloth, Imloth Malawi guardhouse. Hi there. He, I got teleported that time. 
I too am concerned about the kindred of the coins. But whatever power now controls Umbar is beyond the bay. We must first see to the well-being of our people. We have some time to do it. Already we have come to some of the deepest wounds inflicted by the War of the Ring. A Lady Vanulos dwells here in sorrow. Is the widow of my fighting companion Forlong, good old Forlong the Fat, who perished on Pelennor. Her grief is twofold, for she also survives another, her brother Denethor, victim of Sauron's manipulations. Arwen has taken one of the healers who accompanies us, and the two of them have gone to speak with the Lady Vanulos. Will you attend to them? Upstairs, I'm assuming. Oh, no, no. Oh, no. Back across. Back across the entire width of the town. Again. Should be able to get yeah another use of our destiny 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 no escaping it from me movie reference Healer Ioreth is deep in discussion with Lady Vanulos and Queen Arwen. I was just telling the Lady Vanulos that all cows will surely pass. Well, nothing Even makes the loss of your be. husband and brother so much easier than being told that all clouds will surely pass. Ioreth must have seen something in Arwen's expression where she falls silent. Yeah. Well, the Queen and indeed. her healer Ioreth mean well, but they can provide no healing for me. This is the sorrow of a woman whose husband marched to war and perished there. Or that of a woman whose brother ruled a city and fell on it. Fell when it burned. Would that I had no part in this. Then I might grieve as does the rest of Gondor, but I have done as they did not, for I dreamed of what would transpire and I did nothing to prevent it. Well, that's a little unfortunate. Sure. Not all dreams have the meaning you give to them. Fill the bowl of water from the falls fill the bowl with the water from the fountain outside. Queen Arwen hands me a small ceramic bowl. Fill the bowl with water from the falls. Then lock and fill it. Fill it with both waters? Fill it with one? I could fill it with something else liquid. Was that an ore? I don't know. No, it was an and. I can't fill it with water from two locations. You can only fill something once without emptying it. Stupid elves. I don't even know how, vol how liquid volumes work. This isn't rocket surgery. Arwen. I mean, sure, we could half fill it from each. But you can't fill it from both. I guess maybe when you, uh, you know, theoretically, you think you're going to live forever. Spoiler, she doesn't. You think you can fill something 
twice, but it only holds a single time. Just because your life runneth over. Until it doesn't anymore, Arwen. The water is going to be globo flavored. And now we ride all the way back. When you're an elvish princess, you don't have to worry about weights and measures anymore. Must be nice. Elves. Now, we hobbits are experts at filling things multiple times. For instance, if you give us a pint, we'll drink it and then fill it a second time and drink it. You just can't fill it twice sequentially. You gotta break it up. By chug -a I don't know why we get another chest piece as a reward for this. We got a chest piece earlier. Elvish. Lady Vanyalos, is this elf magic, my queen? The water is cool and refreshing. And even as I pressed my lips, I confess I felt my burden lift. Well, it's possible that she put a little antidepressant in there for you. Cannot thank you enough for your kind words. Thank you for aiding Queen Arwen. The elf magic ritual. Let's talk to King Elisar in the back in the tower guardhouse. Back and forth and back and forth and forth and back and back and forth. By the way, you can tell a true MMO player. Because when there is an instanced space into which he must travel, he leaps. Open the door and leap into the next map. Occasionally, to mix it up, I'll back in. I'll leap and turn around in midair. That's me and my peacock. See, sometimes you turn around and leap in backwards like that. Hey, King. was able to provide some comfort for the Lady Vonulos. I am pleased to hear it. Lady Traveled Vonulos to the main square of Arnach, south of Imlad Malawi, the King's Gondor. New quest, chapter two, without their lord. Chapter 2.2. The Song of Waves and Wind. 
that's what this epic book is called. Surely there is an inn in this town somewhere. It is unfortunate that so often in Latro the maps are for cosmetic value only. Uh, the new one, it might die nicely. It's not particularly good looking. Uh, let's see. Maybe if we checked in one of the niftier colors like Evan Dim Blue. Oh, the only thing it changes is the sort of detail work. That's that's not interesting at all. Yeah, that's kind of disappointing. Uh, this one has no slots. It would give me a little bit more armor. Significantly more will. Less vit. Tactical mastery. A lot of physical mitigation. And it's theoretically 27 levels higher, item levels higher. I'll hold on to it at least. I don't know if there's an inn in this place. I don't see one anywhere. Well, I'm going to call it here for the evening. Thank you guys for hanging out with me, as always. I appreciate it very, very much. You guys are multiple boxes of awesome. With extra awesome sauce on top. Um, I should be back tomorrow at my usual time. 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern, middle of the night in Europe, early morning in Australia and Asia. For more Lord of the Rings Online, I uh, expect I should be easily be able to reach level 142... I'm not sure. Maybe tomorrow I will start um, after a crap game, cracking, not crapping, cracking level 142. Maybe start up uh, the new swashbuckler classes. I haven't uh, played that at all yet. That would be a little bit of low-level gameplay. Um, but I'll play it by ear. We'll see how it goes, and then I'll play it by ear while we see how it goes. Um, but again, I want to thank you guys for hanging out. I hope the rest of your Saturday night kicks ass. I hope your Sunday's great, too. I'm back tomorrow. Hopefully you'll see me soon. Have a great night tonight. Take care. And ciao for now. Bye, guys.